So today we will be seeing division of polynomials. So before showing, uh, seeing division of polynomials, uh, we have one question left. So that's question number 75, right? So what's the question? Question number 75, it is still the same. That is factorize the following. Yesterday we did factorizing of the polynomials. Do you remember? Yeah. So I have requested everybody that if you don't understand any concept or, uh, you know, if you want to see it again, then definitely you can log into the, uh, sorry, you can open the Amrita tutorials of, uh, in YouTube and then you can go through the videos. So 75th question, we'll see this later. <clears throat> Factorize. The question is still factorize. What polynomial we have to factorize? Have a look. Given the polynomial is uh, a power 4, then we have minus a, then we have minus a squared, <clears throat> then we have minus 1. Uh, so here we have four terms, Nana. We are having four terms, fortunately or unfortunately. If you're trying to take common from these two first two terms and these two terms, here what is common actually? A is common. So when you take A as common, we get A cube minus 1. And here nothing is common. So when you take 1 as common, you will get A squared plus 1. So here you can observe that here we are getting A cube minus 1 and here we are getting A squared plus 1. So the same bracket we are not getting. We are not getting the same common. That means this way is not at all possible. Then what we have to do, uh, we can do certain modification that is, you know, add and subtract. I'm going to add and subtract. I will add at the same time. I need to subtract a cube. So when I do this, I do nothing. That is, I'm adding, I'm adding at the same time. I'm going to subtract what a cube. So let me do that and see what will happen. Mm, first a power 4 and then I am writing minus a cube. So here I am subtracting then minus a then plus a cube minus a square minus 1. Okay. So the thing which we added and subtracted are here. a cube I have added here and a cube I have subtracted here and remaining all are same a power 4 it is as it is minus a it is as it is minus a square it is as it is and minus 1 is also as it is so we added a cube at the same time we subtracted a cube now the thing is why we should do so we are doing this so that we can take something common from the first three terms and the same thing we will be taking common from the next two terms so this is what we have to uh, remember right yeah now what does a power 4 means actually a power 4 means a into a into a into a four times and a cube means what a into a into a that is a multiplied three times and a is one time over here right so from the first to three terms i can see that at least a is common in all the three terms that means at least a is present in all the three terms got it yeah so let me take a as common so when I take A as common here, that is A is coming outside from A power 4. A power 4 means A into A into A into A. That is four times. In that four times, one time it came outside. No. So how many times more there inside? It is three times. So simply from four, if one A is gone, then more three A's are there. So we can write here A cube for the first term. For the first term, one A has gone and A cube is left. Then uh, from the next term, here minus is there, minus. From three A's, one A has gone outside because we are taking common. So how many there? Still two there. So I can write here A square, A square minus. Now coming over here, one A is here. That one A has gone outside. Now what is left? Nothing is left. So nothing is left means one. Sir, why it should not be zero? No, 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 no. Because when you multiply again a into a cube, you should get a power 4. a into a square, you should get a cube. a into 1, you should get a. So here you can observe that 
we are just following the distributive property we are taking something common outside right yeah just a minute minus one that's over so from the first three terms from the first three terms i have taken a as common and i got the factors inside as a cube minus a square minus one now children coming to the next three terms which i have underlined you can see uh, here a is three times a is three times a is two times and one that means still first two terms it was okay so uh, that is a is common some somewhere but coming to the third term it is one so what do you say nothing is common here actually right so if nothing is common children we take one as common here so plus is there that plus i am writing here the same plus i have written here now nothing is common so that's why i am taking uh, one as common so when i take one as common from a cube if one is going outside then again a cube will be there minus from a square if you are taking one as common means again a square is there why 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 because children one into a cube should be a cube yeah one into a square is what again a square so whatever changes you do it should be legal right then again minus is here uh, so one into one will be one that is from one if one is going outside again one will be there because if nothing is left the meaning is one is left you can see even one into one one into one is again one so this is how i am taking the common and this time you can see unlike the previous one here we are getting a cube minus a square minus one in the first bracket a cube minus a square minus one again in the second bracket wow that means what this underlined with this color right can be taken as common now outside so the bracket itself i am taking outside as common now let me take that so when you take here a cube the bracket i'm talking about the bracket or the underlined you say a cube minus a square minus one i'm taking common so when i take common that means it's gone outside it's gone outside you cannot strike like this this is just for your understanding so when this underlined one or the bracket one or the crossed one has taken common outside so here what is left only a is left here this has gone outside so what is left plus one is left so now you're going to get a plus one so this is how we have to write right so a plus one is left <coughs> now you can observe children we got uh, we got this polynomial as product of as product of two factors so this is what we call factorization expressing a polynomial as product of its factors right it is very similar to expressing a number as product of its two factors. That is six writing as two, three is a six. Two is a factor of six, three is a factor of six. Similarly here, this polynomial is also written as a product of two of its factors. I hope you got me. That's it. This is your answer. Now you can take a screenshot so that we can uh, move to our today's topic that is division of polynomials. Please take a screenshot and tell me turn. So then. Okay, so yeah, which Chandra has the yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where is where is Chandra has? She put a message. But sir, today do we have class? But she did not join. Why? I don't know, sir. Sir, might be she thought there is no class today. How oh, how she, 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 how, how she can... yeah. Oh, she yeah. Just a minute. Let me type her. Please join the class. Okay, uh, children, let me move ahead. Today's topic is dividing polynomials. So it's a great topic and good topic which we are going to see. Where is that? Where is that? Where that has gone? The clip which we took it maybe it has gone just a minute let me take once again uh so we are moving to question number 71 so let me copy and paste in the whiteboard excuse me for... beside that one no no that is 70th one nana which one you saw no that that was 70th one seven zero so first i will be telling this 71st question then we will be going to
Yeah. So have a look, children. What is the question? <coughs> divide, <coughs> divide four x cube plus eight x square minus nine x plus six. It's a cubic polynomial because the highest degree is three. We have to divide it by two x plus three, and this is a linear polynomial because the highest degree is one. And not only that, after dividing, even we need to verify the division rule. Wow, it's a very big question, right? Uh, but very interesting. And uh, once again, definitely, it is again going to come for you in your standard ninth and tenth again, right? Yeah. So listen carefully. You are learning now ninth and tenth topic here. So before taking you to this, let me start with some you know easier thing. <clears throat> Assume that you are dividing eleven, right? You are dividing eleven with certain two. Then what you will get two five times ten, and here after subtraction we'll get one. So let us understand what is what. Okay, here uh, what is this two called as actually? Can you see what is this two called as? It is called as divisor, right? And what is this eleven called as? Eleven called as dividend. Got it? And this five is called as quotient. Are you able to see my board, whiteboard? Please reply. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So this one is called as remained. Remained. So this one is remaining here. <clears throat> so here, uh, in our lower classes, we have learned certain rule which is called as division rule. Uh, and the division rule says that what does division rule says? It says that dividend is equals to dividend. That is. Something which we are dividing is equals to divisor or divisor, whatever you call divisor or divisor into quotient, divisor into quotient. That is two into five plus remainder plus remainder. Have you heard this rule any time, children? No, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Some people are telling no, sir. Why? This will come around in uh, your fourth and fifth class itself. Right, yeah. So division rule it says that dividend is equals to here eleven is the dividend, right? So that eleven will be actually equals to divisor. What is the divisor here? It is two. Two into quotient. Quotient is five. So two into five. Two five is a ten. Ten plus one. One is the remainder here. You can see. So two five is a ten. Ten plus one is eleven. So eleven is equals to eleven. You can see that dividend again. We are getting equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So this is the division rule, Nana. So here, the first task is like this. We have to divide, right? We will be dividing this by this, and then when it is asked that verify, what does that verify? The division rule here. The division rule is written, right? Division rule is dividend is equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So even we have to divide, and later we have to verify this division rule. Same like this, whether we will get LHS equals to RHS or not, right? Yeah. So now allow me to start. Let me start. You understood, or you revised what is dividend divisor, right, and everything. So here we are not going to divide with numbers, right? We are going to divide some polynomials, Nana. So it's a uh, the first thing which you need to understand is. It may not be same as we do in number. So first, I am taking the dividend. That is four x cube plus eight x square minus nine x plus six. Right. This I am going to divide with what? I am going to divide with two x plus three. But actually, I, I divide like this. Uh, just a minute, because every time the term of the quotient will be. Written here. So with whom I am dividing? I am dividing with two x plus three. So here two x plus three is nothing but it is the divisor. What it is? It is the divisor first thing, and this is our dividend. We are dividing a cubic polynomial with a linear polynomial, guys. Right? Yeah. So first. You should understand that quotient will be written over here. Here you will be getting the quotient, and remainder. Finally, you may get zero or some other thing, but it's it's the place of the remainder, right? Yeah. So let me start. Now, how we have to start this? 
uh, here, <clears throat> let me write the quotient terms first. Quotient terms. Now, how we are going to find the terms of the quotient? Have a look. Quotient terms. The first term of the quotient, the first term of the quotient will be getting by, you know, dividing the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. Or you can say this like this, uh, inside first term by outside first term. Inside first term by outside first term, you will get the first term of the quotient. Why, why, why? You will understand. First, let me do this. First, let me do this. So what did I say? Inside first term. What is inside first term? It is 4x cube. So please write here 4x cube by outside first term. What is outside first term? 2x. So every time outside first term will be 2x only, right? So 4x cube by the outside first term is what? It is 2x, right? We are dividing here, children. Please understand dividing. So 2 ones are 2 twos are 4. So number and number I have divided. It was simple. 2 twos are 4. So 2 we got as the number. Now what does this x cube by x means? x cube by x means what x cube means actually x is three times x into x into x three times and here by x means x is one time so from those three times one time x will get cancelled and you will get more two times so what we are left with two and then x square so what is the first term here we are getting we are getting here two x square i repeat the first term is two x squared so please with respect write that first term here as 2x squared. I hope you understood here. x cubed by x means x into x squared as the quotient. First term of the quotient. It is just a first term. Yeah, still we will get more things. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So x into x into x. x is multiplied three times by x means one x will get cancelled, no children. And here we will have only two x here. So that is x square. x into x is x square. So that is how we are getting the x square. Now what we have to do? We have to, we have to <laughs> multiply this divisor with the term of the quotient just now what you have written. So how we have to multiply? We have to multiply like this. First, 2x into 2x square. Then plus 3 into 2x square. That is something like you know, uh, something like the distributive property. If you're multiplying A into B plus C, it will be A into B plus A into C. Same like that only. Same like that only here. 2x plus 3 into 2x squared. 2x plus 3 into 2x squared. It will be 2x into 2x squared plus 3 into 2x squared. So two terms we have to multiply with this, right? Yeah. Let me start. So first 2 into 2, it is 4. 2 into 2 is what? It is 4. Then x into x square, it is x cube. It is x cube. What did I do just now? First I multiplied symbol into symbol. That is that is plus into plus is plus. 2 to the 4. And x into x square is definitely x cube. Right? Yes, sir. So first term I have multiplied with the quotient now second term plus plus into plus it will be plus here and after that three to the three to the number into number six then nothing is there here and only x square is there so it will be x square Harshit is well aware of this right yeah so children you may observe something that i got the first term same yeah to get the first term same only we are dividing the inside first term by outside first term. So obviously, by what we should multiply 2x so that we get 4x cubed. That is the thing. Here, it is very similar to something like this. With what we should multiply 2 so that we get 10. Faiza. So if you want to know that, please, once again, try to understand. With what? Okay. If we are having 10 divided by 2, right? And I'm trying to know that uh, this 2 should be multiplied with whom so that we get 10. If you want to know that, you can do something. You can divide inside first term by outside first term. That is 10 divided by 2. What do you will get? 5. The answer is what? You should divide 2 with 5 
to get 10. So the same thing I have done here actually, right? Yeah, inside first term by outside first term. By doing that, I am getting here 2x square. And when I multiply this first term, 2x into 2x square, I am getting 4x cubed. So my main intention is that only. Now, in division, what happens, Nana? You will subtract, right? So you are going to subtract now. So when you subtract, the second equation symbol will change, Nana. This is very, very important. Please remember. Here, this second equation, not the first equation, second equation. Here, nothing is there means. Here, there is no symbol means plus. So that plus will become minus. And here also, this plus will become what? It will become minus. Right? Yes, sir. So children... The symbols which are changed are put in the bracket. We are respecting them by putting them inside the bracket, Nana. Okay. So it was plus 6x square was plus, but now it is minus. 4x cube was plus, but now it is minus. So now is being denoted by the bracket. So presently here, you can observe that 4x cube here, the first term, 4x cube is plus here. 4x cube is minus here. So simply 4 minus 4 is 0. Similarly, 4x cube minus 4x cube. Both will get cancelled. Nana. Your first term is getting cancelled like this. Both got cancelled. <clears throat> now coming to the next term. Both are like terms here. You can see the next term we have 8x squared minus 6x squared. So both are x squared, x squared. Bye bye. Means they are like terms. It is something like 8 elephants minus 6 elephants. It will be 2 elephants. So what answer you will get here? You will get 2x squared because again it will be elephants only. It's 8 elephants minus 6 elephants cannot be 2 cows, right? It will be 2 elephants again. Uh, so 8x squared minus 6x squared is 2x squared and it will be positive because the bigger number is positive here. Hope you're getting me. Next, what we have, we write minus 9x. So please write that minus 9x here. Minus 9x has come down. This minus 9x has come down here. Uh, please remember. And still plus 6 is also there. That will come next in our next term. So now the most important thing is, <coughs> the most important thing is, you have multiplied 2x squared, right? You have multiplied the first term with the divisor. So its job is over. Its job is over. So now what you have to do is, you have to circle it with pencil. Why, sir? So that you don't get confused. So that you can understand that, yeah, I have multiplied 2x squared. Its job is over. Now it is aside. It is aside. Am I clear to you? Now you repeat the second thing. Sorry. You repeat the same process. That is, presently, your dividend is 2x squared minus 9x. And this is some plus 16, which is coming here. Sorry, plus 6, which is there here. Right? Yeah. So... Inside first term by outside first term. Same thing you have to do. Now we are going to find the second term of the quotient. How we will get that? Again, the same duty. Inside first term by outside first term. That is first term of the dividend by first term of the divisor. Let me do that. 2x square by 2x. This is inside first term. 2x square by outside first term was 2x. So that's what I have done. Now, 2 and 2 will get cancelled. We are remaining with x squared by x. Now, x squared by x means what? Here, x is 2 times. x into x. And down, we have x one time. So, one time will be getting cancelled and you will get just x. So, this is not just x. It is actually, it is actually plus x. It is actually what? Plus x. Why? Because if no symbol is there, it is plus no. So, that symbol is important, right? For example, if you get minus here, then you would have written minus here. But we did not get, no. The same minus I would have written here also as the quotient. I hope you're getting me. The same x I have written here as plus x children. Right? Yeah. So today this one question only may take some time. Uh, it's the first time, no. And as I said to you, it's um, division of polynomial, no. So now what we have to do? Now, once again, you need to multiply this 2x plus 3 into x you have to multiply. So the first term into first term. Let me do 2x into x. I repeat 2x into x is you will get your 2x square. You will get your 2x square. Then plus 3 into x or plus 3 into plus x. 3 into x is what? It will be plus 3x. 
I hope you're getting me. So now please change the symbol. This plus will become minus. This plus also will become minus. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so this verse plus, now it is minus. Here also this verse plus, but it has become minus. So now what I can do, I can strike this two because the same thing you can observe that we are getting 2x square minus 2x square. Both will be zero. Now have a look here. This term is having x. This term is also having x. Means both are like terms. So its coefficient is minus 9 and its coefficient is minus 3. It was plus. Now it is minus. So minus 9, minus 3, minus 9, minus 3. When you add, you will get what? You will get minus 12x. I repeat, minus 9 minus 3 is nothing but minus 12. So it's not minus 9 and minus 3. It is minus 9x and minus 3x, will, which will get us minus 12x. And then after we have plus 6. This plus 6 is written down as it is. I hope you're getting me, right? Yeah. Now, <clears throat> we will get one more term, and that's it. Now, once again, let us try to find the third term of the quotient for the last time. So third term of the quotient, we'll get only this term as the last. First term is minus 12x. So please write minus 12x by here. The first term is 2x. What it is? 2x. So two ones are two sixes. Are. And x and x will get cancelled. So what we are left with? We are left with minus 6. Don't forget this minus. Minus is there. Right. So minus 6 is our third term, children. Right. So before that, let me circle this x also. Uh, that means what? I have already multiplied this x with the 2x plus 3. That's over. So now what we got? The third term we got as minus 6. So let me write here minus 6. Yeah. And this circles will tell that the circles will tell that we are completed. Now you need not multiply us. Multiply the newcomer. Who is the newcomer? Minus six. With whom? With two x plus three. So two. Uh, sorry. Here, see. First term I'm multiplying plus into minus. We will get here minus minus, and then two into six. That is number into number. Two into six is what? It is twelve. Then x x here we have x and here we don't have anything so x one time so just write here x and then what we have uh plus plus into minus plus into minus is minus and then three into six that's the remaining no three into six three six uh, it is 18 so i can write here three six uh, 18 children now have a look what we will get uh, this minus will become plus minus 12x became plus your minus 18 also will become plus so plus means it will become minus so you can have a look plus means it will become minus but minus means it will become what plus right yeah it will change the symbol which one only the second equation now see beta this is minus 12x and this was minus but now it is plus 12x so minus 12x plus 12x both will get cancelled here both will get cancelled and what we will be left with we will be left with plus 6 and plus 18 i repeat plus 6 and plus 18 what it is it is plus 24 so this is our remainder now why should we stop here actually this is our remainder and why we should stop when we should stop we should stop doing the division if if first one if we get the remainder as zero if we get the remainder as zero or the second one if we get the degree of remainder degree of remainder less than degree of divisor degree of divisor here you see what is the degree of remainder it is zero you remember degree long long ago we have discussed what do you mean by degree degree means number of variables here how many variables are there no variables are there that's why degree of the remainder is zero what is degree of the divisor? Degree of the divisor is 1 because one variable is there. <coughs> so obviously 0, degree 0 is less than degree 1. No. Yeah. So two conditions are given. You have to stop dividing. Uh, first condition, if you get the remainder 0 or the second condition, you get a remainder whose degree is less than degree of the divisor. It's very, very important. Please remember that. Right. Yes, sir. So now uh, 
you can take a screenshot presently we are not at done we did not do the verification just we have done the first part first job that is dividing please tell me done <clears throat> this one question is only uh, one period yeah nana because it is a very very big question and at the same time uh, this is 10th topic nana i'm telling you no this is not 7th topic it is 10th topic as you are learning iit so you are uh, far behind right your knowledge will be very equal to 10th class so please try to go through the video again where it will be available it will be available in amrita tutorials you can uh subscribe that so that you will get every day notification right yeah so, so let me move ahead nana we have to verify now so how we are going to do the verification so first let me write here verification just a minute now again we have a multiplication now we should do multiplication first let me write here what we got dividend or what is our dividend dividend is what divisor is what and after that what is the quotient which we got and the remainder also we need to write everything first itself remainder right yeah dividend is something which we have divided what is dividend here 4x cube plus 8x square minus 9x plus 6 4x cube <clears throat> plus 8x square minus 9x plus 6 4x cube mm. plus 8x square. Where is that? Yeah, plus 8x square minus 9x plus 6. This is the question. Uh, this is the dividend. Then what is the divisor? Divisor is 2x plus 3. So let me write here divisor as 2x plus 3. This is the divisor. Now quotient. Quotient what we got. Quotient. Quotient is here. We got three terms. 2x square plus 6 minus 6. 2x square plus 6 minus 6. So please write that. 2x square plus x minus 6. And what is the remainder? Remainder last, we got a number constant that is 24. So 24 is the remainder. Wow. We have written everything. So now let me write the division rule or you can write your verification, side heading, verification. Now we are going to do the verification. Uh, for that, we need to write the rule, division rule. That is dividend is equals to dividend. Dividend is equals to divisor into quotient divisor into quotient into quotient right yes so plus remainder plus remainder so now substitute substitute means what sir in the place of dividend in the place of dividend you write what is dividend in the place of divisor, you substitute this. In the place of quotient, you substitute this. In the place of remainder, you substitute this. That is called substitution. So dividend I am writing. Dividend is 4x cube plus 8x square minus 9x plus 6. This is dividend. This is dividend I have substituted. Next, let me move to divisor. What is divisor? Divisor is 2x plus 3 here. Right? Yes, sir. So now let me write the divisor that is 2x plus 3 as it is having two terms i need to take help of a bracket into 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 quotient what is the quotient children quotient is this uh, which we got every time by dividing first term first by first term that is 2x square plus x minus 6 and then what we have we have plus remainder what is the remainder remainder is 24 right so here, children, please remember, we are not going to do anything in the LHS. This this 4x cubed plus 8x squared minus 9x plus 6 will be same like that only. We will solve only the RHS. RHS means right hand side of the equals to symbol. So we will solve only this and we will check whether it is equal to the LHS or not. If it is equal to this, then we will uh, say that hence verified. 
if it is not equals to we will say it's not verified yeah let me start this so you know bodmer's rule says that first you need to multiply then only you should add because here i'm uh, you know getting two operation one is multiplication and one is addition so what i will do first first i will multiply so how we are going to multiply uh 2x into total that is 2x into total means 2x square plus x minus 6 then second term plus 3 right plus 3 into total so plus 3 second term into total 2x square plus x minus 6 children this is not the first time you're multiplying similar multiplication we have done and finally please don't forget this plus 24 it is there right right so now further you multiply what you will get <clears throat> you know when you're multiplying uh, follow the order what is the order sir long long ago i have said to you symbol into symbol number into number variable into variable right no support i'm getting from you <laughs> so here first term into first term i'm going to do 2x into 2x square right first term into first term so plus into plus is plus two tools are four that is two to the four and then x into x square is x cube right now i have to multiply 2x into x so two into one actually here why sir because two and nothing is there here so first plus into plus let me take symbol into symbol first so plus into plus is plus then two into one is two uh sorry this bracket will not go again so two then x into x is what it is x squared now third term right so plus into minus is minus 2 into 6 is 12 i'm going very slow please try to remember this thing how i'm doing well and x and here no variable is there so just keep that x over not total answer first terms multiplication is over now move to second term no now we have your plus three so plus into plus plus into plus is plus then three into two is six no variable is there into x square is x square next plus into plus is plus three here no variable is there means sorry no quotient is there means one three one so three three and then nothing is there x means it is x then plus into minus is minus 3 into 6 is 18 and finally we have plus 24 thank god now we got some big expression right yeah now do one thing uh try to write the like term side by side first with the highest degree highest degree term is 4x cube so let me write 4x cube as it is 4x cube i have written 4x cube then after x cube next x square no so x square we have plus 2x square and then we have plus 6x square right plus 6x square and after that we have minus 12x minus 12x then we have plus 3x so what i'm doing i'm rearranging the terms that is i'm trying to write the like terms side by side and then after you have minus 18 plus 24 no no this is simply uh 24 minus 18 you can think that 24 minus 18 24 minus 18 is what it is 6 so i can write here plus 6 these two terms these two terms has become what they have become 6 no no 24 minus 18 or minus 18 plus 24 now further we can simplify because there are some like terms these two are like terms these two are like terms so first term will be 4x cube as it is Coming to the second term, we have plus 2, plus 6. Plus 2 and plus 6. That means we need to add and we will get here 8, right? So plus 8x square. Uh, then we have here x and x means the, these two are like terms. We can add this. So minus 12 and minus 3 is what? It is minus 9x minus 12 plus 3. Sorry, minus 12 plus 3. The bigger number is 12. It is having minus. So definitely it will be minus 9, right? And then what we have? Finally, we have plus six. Now ha have a look and check whether we got the same LHS or not. In LHS, the first term is 4x cube. In RHS also, first term is 4x cube. Second term is plus 8x square. RHS also plus 8x square. Third term is minus 9x. Here also third term is minus 9x. 
fourth term is plus six. Even here also we got fourth term as plus six. So by this, what do you observe? We observe that LHS equals to RHS. So we need to write that thing that LHS we got equals to RHS. And you can see that I did not disturb anything for the dividend. The dividend was put like that only. And whatever multiplication, addition I did in the RHS only. And finally, I got LHS equals to RHS. And at last, you can write two beautiful words. You know, what are those? Those are hence proved. These are really very beautiful because it gives some feeling that, yes, our job is done. We have completed, right? Yeah. Uh, so now you can take, uh, this is the second part of the question you can take screenshot of this mistake tell me done sir done sir done. 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 done yeah yeah children uh so by this we complete our today's class it was very a long class only one question we have discussed hope everybody